hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be teaching us how to cut the upper part of this dress so the lower part is just um, basically gather skirts right so to cut this upper part you need a basic body pattern i'll be explaining briefly how to draft this so first thing first is um my bodice okay i'll just explain to us how i've done it so this is my shoulder line then i have shoulder to chest line i used eight inches okay then shoulder to bust point shoulder to your under bust and shoulder to your waistline so there's no specific measurement you have to measure your own okay then the width of my bust that is two inches so what i'll do is i'll minus my bust that from my front body's length that will give me the back so 17 minus 2 give me 15 okay so the length of my back body is 15 so um on the shoulder line i've marked half of my across back and on the chest line then i drew a straight line like so and on the chest line i marked a quarter of my boss plus one inch for side to my allowance on the waistline because of the two inches for that i'm adding two inches to quarter of my waist measurement so that's 9.5 Cut out my waist is 7.5. Okay, so then I add one in for seam allowance, then I just turn everything together basically. So then my neck weight I did three inches, then I marked half of my ball span. Mine is four, that's nipple to nipple measurements. Mine is eight, sorry. So half of it is four, and I link it to the middle of my shoulder. Okay, so um, of course, um, I marked my dart like so. So that's for the front, but if, if that was too fast, I will drop the link to the basic body tutorial in the description box. So for the back, you mark cut out the waist plus one inch for that on the waistline, okay? Then everything is the same thing on the back too. That's for the shoulder and the armhole, blah, blah, blah. Nothing serious. So I want to show us how to convert this to the corset um, bodies, okay? So for this particular style, it depends on how much you want to reveal so i'll just do probably 8 or 7.5 i don't want to reveal so much so then on this line that divides the shoulder i'll do seven okay and then of course the um, chest line so i'm going to use my um french curve to connect the three points together so from that point upwards then i'll link it back into the armhole like so Okay, so I'm putting the star lines for the um, bodies. Obviously, it's an off shoulder. What I'm saying, it's a um, <laughs> it's a bodies with um straps. Yeah. So uh, next thing, I'm gonna mark half inch on the chest line, or sorry, on where the neckline starts from actually. So I'll mark half inch there, then half inch on the boss point line. Then I'll use my French curve, or let me first of all draw a mini a dotted straight line. Okay, just it's just a guide like this then I'll use my French curve to link that point to my on the bust okay so for corsets make sure your your bust point and your shoulder under bust measurements are very very accurate okay so now I will just separate the front and back body so I'll be able to fold my bust that so I'll just cut, like I'll separate it. Okay, so this is my front pattern now. Next step, I'm going to cut out the unwanted part. So let me trim all these excesses here on the waistline. Same thing on the waist that I'm going to trim it out. So like I was saying, um, I know for some people, this busy body is, is a little bit confusing. Yeah, so I'm just trimming out the unwanted part, like I said. So I will say something about the basic bodies um, tutorial. So if you don't know how to draft these basic bodies, I will drop the link. I know I always say I'll drop the link, but somehow I forget. So but don't worry, I will drop the link to the basic body tutorial I did here on YouTube and on our website. So you can just watch any of them. But if I were you, I will watch the one on the website. That one is more, more, more detailed than the one here on YouTube. And it's free. You can download it for free from our website. So I'll just I'm trying to throw the um, side there. I've already cut out my boss down and I'm throwing it in there. I'm cutting out the unwanted parts. Okay, all the unwanted parts. So now because um, this is um, like, doesn't have shoulder, 
it's more or less like a jew aside the strap so we're going to do what is called a bust tightening okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to measure <clears throat> okay before i go to the bust tightening i'll measure one inch away from the side seam where i marked okay from the side seam not from the seam allowance please then i'll use my french curl to link it and i'm trying to get the other part of the curl for the corset like so and then um I'll also use my French curl to link it into the mid and hole like that. Okay, so my cups are ready. Then I'll say something about bust tightening. Yes, you need to tighten up um, the upper part, that's the chest area there, else you're going to have a little bit of gaping. Okay, and meanwhile, for this um, corset, it doesn't, you know, the, the, the way the C1 is, as the first part of the cup, you know, it tapers into the center front. So I'll just pick a point. From my um, post point line there, okay, and then I'll just let me see if I can use my curl to like curve it out, like so. Or if I just go freehand, just curve it slightly. So, this is like an unusual type of corset, you know. So, um, that's that. Then, for the bust tightening, it depends on your bust size, but I'll just mark um, half of an inch on both sides of the cup. It's just to have a firm grip since it's not a um, shoulder dress it's more like, or less like it's like an off shoulder with just tiny strap but you should still tighten it a bit so you can see the way i'm just using my french curve to tighten it so i'm going to cut out that part and then also the unwanted part except you want to work with yoke anyway so i'm cutting out this part like so and then i'm also going to cut out the parts where I have the dots. So now, look at where I'm cutting from here. So, part of the center front goes into the C1, which is the first cup. Okay, so I'm just cutting like this. And then, so that's going to be my F1. Then I'll just trim out the unwanted um, dots, the part I trued. Okay, and yeah. We'll cut out the second cup like so so we're basically done with the front pattern yeah so let me just show us how it looks like like so okay so this is it here this is it here so and i'll quickly show us how to cut the back pattern so for the front you can still add extra channel so i can just still divide this into two okay so i'll end up having f1 okay f2 okay so f1 f2 f3 so i'll just cut it out so where you have the joining where you have your um, bonding channels so um here i'm just arranging for us to see can we see so this is how the front will look like basically now to cut the back pretty straightforward already we're not making use of the upper part except you want to add a um, yoke or something so i'm just going to strike here out and then i can add extra um, burning channel to the back all i'll just do is i'll find the midpoint of the side panel so for instance if from my side i have up to like five i'll mark 2.5 same thing so i just find the midpoint basically so there's no particular figure just measure what you have on your pattern and find the midway then i'll just label so that i don't misplace them b1 b2 b3 i'll also draw my arrows to show the direction then i'll label this is my center back this is my seam or side seam rather okay so as simple as that so i'll just cut it out basically so i hope we're able to gain one or two things from this tutorial. It's a very straightforward tutorial. So basically, you can use your Ankara fabric to make this. Add estate to the fabric to give it structure. Add boning to the channels, basically. And that's all for this um, tutorial. So I'm just cutting out the back. But majorly, you need to just use two different, two different Ankara prints. And then the lower part of the dress is just in gathers. Yeah, so basically your waist circumference by maybe times three or four to make it very full. Yeah. So like I said, I hope this video was very helpful. If it was, kindly share, leave a comment, do not forget to subscribe if it is the first time you're joining our channel and do 
have a lovely day ahead.